Okay, let's see some exercises and see how we can deal with it. First exercise required is determine the depreciation expense for the first full year using the street line method. Street line method say that cost minus salvage value over useful life. So we need to calculate cost. This corporation constructed a building at a cost of 10 millions, average accumulated expenditure 4 million, actual interest 600,000 and avoidable interest 300 and we have salvage value 800,000 and useful life 40 years. So, depreciation expense cost minus salvage value over useful life. So we need to calculate cost. Cost total expenditure here is 10 million plus the capitalized interest. The capitalized interest according to Ivers standard is the lesser of avoidable interest and the actual interest. From the given data, we have capitalized interest 300. It is the lower, avoidable 300, actual 600, so the lower is 300. So the cost of building equal 10 million expenditure we paid plus capitalized interest 300. The total will be 10 million 300,000. We can calculate now the depreciation expense 10 million 300,000 minus salvage value 800,000 over 40 years useful life. So we have depreciation expense 237,500. Let's see another exercise. Calculate the average accumulated expenditure. We have a company, Smith Company, is constructing a building. Construction began in 2015 and the building completed December 31st. So we have a capitalization period ended at December 31st. When it will begin from the first payment? Smith made payment to the construction company 1 million on July 1st. 2 million 100 on September 1st, 2 million dollars on December 31st. So we will make our timeline starting from the first payment, ending when the end of construction. We have three payment: 1 million July 1st, 2 million 100 at September 1st, and the last payment at December 31st was 2 million. So, can we calculate the time from the payment date to the end of construction? Sure, we can. From July to December is six months. From September to December is four months. And the December is zero. So, we can calculate the weighted average accumulated expenditure as follow. One million times six over 12 plus two million one hundred times four over 12. And the December is zero. The total weighted average accumulated expenditure is 1,200,000. Okay, let's see exercise three. What is the amount of interest that should be capitalized by the company? Here, during 2015, Camel Company incurred average accumulated expenditure. When he said average accumulated expenditure, he mean weighted average accumulated expenditure of 400,000 during construction of assets that qualified for capitalization of interest the only debt outstanding was 500,000 10 percent five years not payable here we have only one debt so it is easy all we need is avoidable interest equal 400,000 which is the weighted average accumulated expenditure time 10 percent equal 40,000 and you calculate the actual interest 500,000 10 percent equal 50 so the amount of interest that should be capitalized is the lesser is the lower it will be forty thousand dollars easy i think okay let's see more complicated exercise on march 1st 2015 utah company purchased land for an off-site for paying five hundred forty thousand cash the company began construction in the office building on March 1st. The following expenditures were made. At March 1st, 360. Realize that we are purchasing land for an office site. Hanibna Aliha building. By paying 540 in March 1st and the same date we are paying 360 for the building so it is one payment 
not two because it is in the same date for April 504 for May 900 for June 1 million 440 with the office completed and ready for use on July 31st we to help pay for construction 720,000 poured on January 1st 2015 on 9% three years not payable other than the construction note the only debt outstanding can 300,000 12% we are required the to determine the amount of interest cost to be capitalized okay now we need to make the timeline realize that we bought 900,000 at the first payment it is the total of the land and the first payment because we paid the land cash at the same date now we need to calculate the capitalization period from the payment date to the end of construction from March 1st to July 31st it will be five months from April 1st to July 31st four months from May 1st to July three months from June 1st to July 1st, 31st it is two months Ju June and July two months and now we're ready to calculate the weighted average accumulated expenditure 900,000 times 5 over 12 5 over 4 times 4 over 12 900,000 times 3 over 12 1 million 440 times 2 over 12 it will be 1 million and 8,000 now the second step is avoidable interest we need to calculate the interest for this amount 1 million 8,000 but the construction loan is only 720 so I divided the weighted average accumulated expenditure to two parts part 729 percent it is the construction loan and the remaining amount 288 from the other loans we have only one loan with 12 percent so the avoidable interest would be 99,360 the actual interest all the loans the construction loan 720 times 9 percent 300 times 12 percent it will be 100 800 100,000 and 800 compare the avoidable interest with actual interest and choose the lower it will be 99,360 but we have another required he said what if we the weighted average accumulated expenditure for the construction is 67 so 6700,000 the avoidable interest in this case will be directly 67,000 times 9% because it is less than the loan of the construction construction debt we have 720 and here 670 so it will be 60,300 the avoidable interest and we're sure it is lesser than the actual interest 100 so the actual interest after comparing with actual interest let's see the last exercise during 2010 best corporation constructed asset costing 1 million the weighted average accumulated expenditure is given here with 600,000 and the company to help pay for construction pour it for 40,000 at 10% on July 1st and the fund not needed for construction was temporarily invested in short-term securities yielding 9,000 interest revenue here what we we will do with this 9,000 it is interest revenue come from the debt loan from the construction loan so we need to offset it from the actual interest to be capitalized we will see that in the exercise other than the construction fund board the only other debt outstanding is 500,000 in years 9% not payable what is the amount of interest that should be capitalized first we'll make the weighted average accumulated expenditure is given 600,000 the avoidable interest 600 time interest rate we have construction loan for 40 only so we get for 40 times 10 percent 10 percent this is a construction construction loan and the remaining amount 160,000 times the other debts 
interest rate 9 percent so the avoidable interest is 58 and 400 actual interest is 440 times 10 percent 500 times 9 it will be 89 so compare the avoidable interest with actual interest and choose the lower it will be 58 400 look we deduct 9,000 from this 58 and 400. The avoidable interest 58,400 minus interest revenue for the construction loan. It will be 76,400. So do not forget to deduct 9,000 interest revenue from capitalized interest. I hope you are good and safe and enjoy your time at home please take care of yourself and try to help the Dr. Noha with his tutorial and see you inshallah in good safe